Hi, this is Faith from the Vegan Sisters again. Well, we're getting ready to do our potluck and ole, it's Mexican day. So we're going to try all kinds of different things here. What, you know, we, we haven't showed just what we make and how we cook it and how we prepare it. And we haven't done much talking about that. What we're trying to do is show how easy and simplistic it can be. And our recipes and, and when our meals are on the table, it looks like it might be a little complicated, but it's, it's not. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you what tonight what I'm doing is I'm going to do uh, vegan tacos. And they have black beans and white beans and kidney beans in them. And we're also going to do an enchilada. So I want to show you just how easy and fast it is to do this. So what I have cooking right here right now, I sauteed down some bell pepper and some onion and um, threw in this. Very simple, very easy. Okay, with, with your water. And then you put your beans in there for your tacos. Okay, we dump our nice little bean mixture in there. And you just let it go for you know, a couple minutes till it's nice and thick. And that's what you're going to put inside the taco shells. And then you're just going to put your regular, you know, stuff on top. Now, for the burritos that we're doing, um, what we're going to do is we're going to start, I have some sauteed uh, bell pepper, garlic, and red onion. So we're going to put that in the bowl. And we're going to add some beans, again. And this is the mixture that's going to go inside the burrito. So what we're going to do now, excuse me, is we're going to take some enchilada sauce. And again, this is vegan, very easy, can enchilada sauce. Mix up a little bit. Just pour a little, like maybe half a can of that in there, just to get it nice and saucy so it's, you know, nice and saucy inside the uh, wraps. These are so easy to do. And you want to take a little bit of olive oil and put it on the bottom of your pan so your, your enchiladas don't stick. Or your burritos. I don't know what these are called. What are these called? Burritos or enchiladas? Burritos. <laughs> okay. I couldn't get the uh, tuna. Okay. Martin. Alright. Um, these recipes that I do, okay, uh, I never really go by a recipe book. What I do is I just, you know, once a good cook, always a good cook. I was a good cook when I was a carnivore. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh, you just kind of work with what you know tastes good. And you figure out things just like this you know when you put this on a taco shell with your lettuce and your tomato and your onions you don't miss the meat I mean there's enough texture in there and you kinda of go crazy on the filling which is really good but you don't have to really go buy crazy you know recipe books and stuff they help they help but for the most part I think most people you know you know what tastes good and you, if you work with the things that you're most familiar with the transition won't be hard you won't see me doing tofu. You won't see me doing Satan. You won't see me doing these things because it's not a taste that I am used to, so it's not going to taste good to me. It just simply doesn't. But I can eat beans like a crazy person. You know, I can eat <laughs> rice and vegetables, and I work with real food. Real food, not, not, uh, I mean, I don't say tofu is not real. It is. It's great for desserts. I'll definitely use tofu for any kind of desserts that I make. That's always good. But regular tofu is a meat substitute. I'm just not feeling it. So this here is, you know, just work with what you know is my advice. But anyway, so we're going to do a wrap. Not a wrap, but a burrito or just call it Faith's whatever. Okay. <laughs> enchilada, yeah. burrito, or whatever. So we put our little enchilada mix in there. And then... Yeah, well, that's probably quite a bit, actually. Maybe not that much. We don't want in there. <clears throat> about yay. About that much. And then you just tuck in your sides and you roll. Ooh. All right. And that's it. And then we're going to put these in the oven. We're going to bake them at 350 for, I don't know, about 30 minutes or so. And then we'll pull them out and... We're going to put more enchilada on top of them when, when we put them in the oven. Again, this is very, very easy to do. Now, I've never worked with whole wheat wraps. So this is something new. This is not a recipe that I found anywhere. I'm just going with the flow here. This is just what I just in my mind decided to try to create. And I, I have made bean burritos in the past, nothing like this. But uh, I used regular wraps. You know, that 
they're not uh, whole wheat wraps. So I'm hoping that these turn out good. So oftentimes with these dinners, you know, these potluck dinners, it really is a potluck. Because I don't know if what I'm going to make is very good. But, you know, I've been blessed pretty pretty good so far with having made really, really excellent things. Okay, we, we got here, we got a rice and beans. This is what Maria is making. Here, give me the camera and you, you can talk about your rice and beans. Okay. Um, what I have here is Spanish rice and beans. And... I've been making these for a few years now. My daughter is um, Puerto Rican and so is my husband. Um, this pot is actually a special pot from Puerto Rico for rice. Um, you don't have to use one of these, but I've never really cooked it in anything but. So you can get these at uh, your local Spanish store, Mexican store, uh, Puerto Rican store, and they're just special rice pots. Uh, the recipe is really easy. A lot of people use long grain rice. I don't prefer it. It doesn't cook well. I use a medium grain rice. So what you do is you take uh, some oil. Now this is a, a big serving. So of course you can cut it in half if you want to. Um, and I'm going to stir face uh, thing here while Thank I'm you. talking. <laughs> Thank you. But, um, you take some oil and put it in the bottom of your pan, uh, olive oil, vegetable oil, whichever. And then you take some tomato sauce. I like to use Goya. Um, it just tastes better. And you put a can of tomato sauce in there. And then you get sofrito. And that can be found in your Goya grocery store, in, in the Goya section of the grocery store. And um, put that in. And you put a... Um, uh, sazon, which is another uh, Spanish seasoning, which is this one, the Goya Sazon. You take three packs of that and put in. And then you put in, I use a jar of olives. I am an olive person. I love olives. Black, green, purple, pink, I don't care. I love, love olives. So I put a whole jar of olives in, which my husband hates. He doesn't like olives. But he can pick them out. Now, you can use red beans or pink beans. Um, I usually use gondolas, which uh, you can get a can of those in the Goya section. You drain them and you put them in there with that. And then you take four cups of rice and four and a half cups of water. And you constantly stir it because it sticks to the bottom of these pans. And if you ask um, anybody else that makes this, they say don't touch it, but I do. This is the secret to it not sticking and burning on the bottom. So you mix it around until it boils, and then after it boils, you turn it down to a simmer and cover it and cook it for about a half hour, 40 minutes, until uh, your rice is done. And that is your Puerto Rican or Spanish rice. Um, I also made a black bean guacamole today and a citrus salsa, which we'll try at dinner. I'm not thrilled about the salsa only because mangoes are so hard to cut up. They're slippery, they have the big pit in the middle, um, they're fibrous, they're, I'm not a fan of them, but I did it, and we'll try them at dinner and we'll let you know how they are, but the guacamole looks really good. So we're going to finish cooking, and then after we sit down and eat, we'll come back and we'll let you know how everything is. Martin lives in the freaking barn. <laughs> I was going to say, the back door is open. Well, I kept thinking, i got to go close this door. I didn't see it until you went for it. Oh, I, I, like Martin. I just got them because, you know, it's just so